Welcome viewers, thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Froze, editor of Energy Storage Networks, and we are in Escondido, California, just outside of San Diego at one of the largest lithium ion plants well, currently in the world. We've got our safety gear on, and I have Ted regularly uh, joining me. Thanks, Ted. He is with uh, San Diego Gas and Electric, and I will let you <laughs> share your title with us. I will. Uh, <laughs> Ted Reguli, I'm the Director of Growth and New Technology Integration for San Diego Gas and Electric. That's a good one, thank you. So can you share a little bit about the project here? As you said, we're here in Escondido at our Northeast Construction and Operations Center. This is a 30 megawatt 120 megawatt hour battery storage project. Started construction around August of last year and completed in record time. It went COD in March of this year. That's excellent. And so lithium ion, can you um, explain why that battery was selected for the project and how it's doing so far? So the reason why the lithium ion batteries were selected is we went out to bid based on the use case uh, that we got as part of our regulatory approval. And the lithium ion batteries were uh, the most cost effective solution. That makes to... sense. Great. Um, so can you tell us some of the benefits uh, that a project like this would bring the local community and businesses? Yeah, uh, well, first off, uh, construction. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people here during the construction phase. Also, um, during operations, uh, facilities like this need to be maintained. Uh, the other major benefit is really integrating renewables into our total portfolio of energy options. San Diego Cast Electric currently uh, acquires about 43% of its electricity comes from renewables. We're on track to getting uh, above 49 percent by 2020. So there's a lot of renewables that are integrated into our, our market. And then we also have a very high penetration of rooftops uh, solar within our service territory. So storage uh, acts as a sponge between when energy is generated and used and we can use the batteries uh, to store it and do that cost effectively. And how uh, do the batteries then help with uh, grid regulation and stabilization? Yeah, so there are things called spin and non-spin and ancillary services. Those are the more short duration uses for batteries. So the nice thing about batteries is they can respond very quickly and so they can play in multiple markets at the same time. And aside from grid services, it is also helping with the regulatory market in terms of uh, services outside and bidding in. Is that correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. So all these, uh, this along with our sister plant in El Cajon, which is about one quarter of the size, is the California ISO actually dispatches okay. all these batteries to meet the uh, transmission needs throughout California. And any other projects planned? Yes, we have about 70 megawatts that are awaiting uh, the California Public Utilities Commission's approval. And then as part of what's called AB 2868, there's a possibility of adding upwards to another 160 megawatts to our system. That's great news. Thank you. If viewers would like to learn more, where can they go? sdge.com. Great. Thanks for your time, Ted. Thank you, viewers, for your attention. This is Michelle Froze for Energy Storage Networks.